hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the space mean speed and the time mean speed from the results of speed spot speed study okay i have been given a question which states that the result of speed study is given in the form of frequency distribution table we have to find the space mean speed and the time mean speed you can see the results of this spot speed study in which we have been given a speed range and the corresponding frequency or the volume of the flow this speed range this is given in meter per second so for the first speed range that is for, uh, for 2 to 5 we have frequency of vehicles that is one number of vehicle and for speed range of 6 to 9 we have four number of vehicles for speed range of 10 to 13 we have zero number of vehicles and so on for the rest of the speed range so from this table we have to find the space mean speed and the time mean speed so we will be uh, performing all the calculation in the excel to easily solve the problem okay so first in excel you will draw a table having the five columns the first one is the speed range in meter per second second column is the average speed in meter per second third column is the volume of the flow that is qi fourth column is the product of uh, this average speed and the volume of the flow and fifth column is the ratio of volume of flow to average speed so for the first speed range that is 2 to 5 average speed will be the mean of this that is 2 plus 5 divided by 2 which is 3.5 uh, for the next speed range that is 6 to 9 its average speed will be 6 plus 9 divided by 2 which is 15 divided by 2 which is 7.5 for 10 to 13 average speed will be 10 plus 13 divided by 2 which is 11.5 for speed range of 14 to 17 average speed will be 15.5 okay and for a speed range of 18 to 21 uh, the average speed will be 18 plus 21 divided by 2 which is 19.5 okay then for the speed range of 22 to 25 average speed will be 23.5 and finally for the last speed range that is 26 to 29 average speed will be some uh, that is average of 26 and 29 which is 27.5 okay so this is the average speed for each speed range now we have to take the product of the average speed and the volume of the flow so select the this uh, select the this uh, for, fourth column select the fourth column of the first speed range okay and then write equal sign after that select the average speed for the first speed range which is 3.5 and then write the star okay and then select the select the first row of the third column that is this one value and then press enter and you will get the average speed that is simply you have to multiply this average speed with the volume of the flow so 3.5 into 1 this is 3.5 okay and then to automatically calculate the product of the average speed and volume of flow for rest of the speed range you will select the first row of the fourth column and then drag it okay till the last speed range and you excel will automatically calculate the value of the product of the average speed and volume of flow for rest of the speed ranges similarly to find the ratio of the volume of flow and average speed you will select the first row of the fifth column then write equal sign then select the volume of the flow of the first speed range which is one then write uh, divide and then select the first row of the second column that is this 3.5 and press enter and you will get the value of the ratio of the volume of flow and the average speed again to automatically calculate the value for the rest of the speed range you will select the first row of the fifth column and then drag it till the last uh, speed range and you excel will automatically calculate the value of this ratio for the rest of the speed ranges so this completes our table now we will take the summation of the readings so first we have to take the summation of the volume of the flow so right here 
summation okay then to find the sum of the volume of the flow or sum of the corresponding frequencies you will select the last row of the third column write equal sign then write s u m then bracket then you will select all of these values that is from 1 to 15 and then close the bracket and then press enter and you will get the summation of the frequency or sum of the volume of the flow which is 49 similarly to calculate the summation of the product of volume of flow and average speed you will select the last row of the fourth column then write equal sign then write sum then bracket select these values okay then close the bracket and press enter and you will get the summation of the volume of flow and the average speed which is 1035.5 similarly to find the summation of the ratio of the volume of flow and the average speed you will select the last row of the fifth column right equal sign then sum then bracket then select all of these readings close the bracket and press enter and you will get the summation of the ratio of volume of flow and the average speed which is in our case 2.831 okay now we can calculate the time mean speed and the space mean speed so time mean speed this is the arithmetic mean of the speed of the vehicles passing a point on a highway during an interval of time and space mean speed is the harmonic mean of the speed of the vehicles passing a point on a highway during an interval of time so time mean speed is the arithmetic mean of the speeds and space mean speed this is the harmonic mean of the speeds and time mean speed this is always greater than the space mean speed because time because the arithmetic mean this is always greater than the harmonic mean so to find the time mean speed you will find the ratio of this product of volume of flow and average speed divided by the volume of the flow so select the column of the time mean speed right equal sign then select the product of so that is summation of product of volume of flow and the average speed which in our case is 1035.5 and then divide it by the volume of the summation of the volume of the flow or summation of the frequency which is 49 and press enter and you will get the time mean speed in meter per second so time mean speed for this uh, frequency distribution table this is 21.13 meter per second and space mean speed this is the harmonic mean of the speeds and it is given by summation of qi divided by summation of qi by vi so you will first select that to find the space mean speed you will select this uh, column of the space mean speed right equal sign then select the summation of the ratio of volume of flow by average speed which is 2.831 and then divide it sorry you have to find the uh, summation of the volume of the flow which is qi this is 49 and then divide it by the uh, summation of the ratio of the volume of the flow divided by every speed which is 2.831 and then press enter and you will get the space mean speed which in our case is 17.31 meter per second as i told you earlier that time mean speed this will be always greater than the space mean speed because time mean speed is the arithmetic mean of the speeds of the vehicles and space mean speed this is the harmonic mean of the speed of the vehicles so time mean speed will be always greater than the space mean speed so this is how you can calculate the time mean speed and the space mean speed from the results of spot speed study okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you learned something new from this video if you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and stay tuned